India is preparing to officially offer its Tejas aircraft armed with the BrahMos NG anti-ship missiles to Indonesia, that has the world's sixth largest exclusive economic zone spanning over 6 million square kilometers. Bengaluru-based startup Arctis Aerospace has conducted the flight test of its fixed-wing drone. Solar Group has successfully test-fired its Bar Gavastra counter drone system. Adani defense manufacturer Drishti 10 drone has crashed in Gujarat yesterday during Navy's pre-acceptance trials. Turkey's Anchor 3 UCAF has successfully conducted its first internal payload munition release at an altitude of 20,000 feet and a speed of 180 knots. Prime Minister Modi has commissioned INS Shurat Destroyer, INS Nilgiri Frigate and INS Vagseer Submarine. Reliance Geo has become the first telecom operator to provide 5G connectivity to the Indian Army at the Siachen Glacier. Gas Turbine Research Establishment has been waiting for the past nine months for a slot to retest the dry cavalry engine in Russia. Indian Air Force has decided to outsource the repair and overhaul of its Mi-17 V-5 helicopter engines to private Indian firms. The DRDO is set to conduct additional trials of the 300 km range Rudram 2 air-to-ground missile by end of 2025 from Mirage 2000 fighter jet. Solar Group has successfully test-fired its Bar Gavastra counter drone system, which is based on micro-missile, that has been developed to tackle the growing threats from loitering munitions and weaponized drones. The micro-missile hit a virtual target 2.5 kilometers away during its first test, and again it successfully targeted a moving electronic UAV mimic at the same location. It has a capability to detect drones with radar at 10 km range for medium and large drones, and 6 km range for swarm drones and low radar cross-section targets, across diverse Indian terrains up to 5,000 meters altitude. Lockheed Martin has intensified its efforts to persuade the Indian Air Force to procure its latest iteration of the F-16. In a significant proposal, the company has committed to setting up a production line with Tato Advanced Systems, that will be capable of manufacturing four F-16 aircraft each month, that could allow India to increase its fleet by 48 aircraft annually, and this production promise is particularly appealing, given the Air Force's current shortfall in its fighter squadrons. Hindustan Aeronautics is gearing up to conduct firing trials of the 7 km range Helena anti-tank guided missile from Prachand Light Combat Helicopter. Currently, Helena has moved into limited production, with new batches of missiles lined up for testing on the Prachand. The Helena is capable of both direct hit and top attack modes to defeat different types of armor, and its addition on the Prachand will result in significantly enhanced anti-tank capabilities. Indian Navy's upcoming 26 Rafale Marine will set a benchmark for twin-engine deck-based fighter, leading to a domestically developed carrier-borne fighter that will surpass the capabilities of the Rafale Marine. While the TED-BF will get some of the technologies developed for the AMCA program, Indian engineers can study components of Rafale Marine, and adapt similar technologies for the TED-BF program, potentially improving upon them with indigenous innovations. Lessons learned from operating the Rafale Marine like maintenance practices logistics management and the supply chain, can be directly applied to benefit the TED-BF program. Today's Top 3 Comments